So for our other group is our laggards, our last group, and a small group of children choose not to participate in set tasks that are online. So we have about one to three children who do this. They are adverse to change and have been particularly hard to get on board with devices, if at all. Mm. Um, one option we can actually try is some pressure from peers in the early adopters group who are likely to take this change on board very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, we also foresee a very small number of teachers who will also fit into this group. These are teachers that we've noticed consistently refuse to change and adapt aspects of their teaching practice, particularly mm -hmm. if ICT is, um, if it's based around ICT. Um, so the scope of a, a program, the students will be making copies of the workbooks, which will be done on Google Slides. Um, they'll be completing their work online. They'll be sharing their workbooks on their blogs and also commenting on other children's workbooks and the success criteria. And this will hopefully engage Fano and hard to motivate students. And this program will focus on 21st century skills, communication, problem solving and collaboration. So our plan for our innovators, which is us, we're going to create the templates for the workbooks and use them for our maths. We're going to incorporate the, in the workbooks into our maths planning. Mm -hmm. And of course, along the way, we're going to continue to adapt them where required. Now for the early adopters, we're going to introduce the workbooks to them. This is our students in our classes. We're going to teach them how to copy and embed the workbooks onto their blogs, where it's for them to independently work on their workbooks and also for them to make sure they comment on others' work and give them feedback mm -hmm. for their workbooks. So our early majority, we're going to share examples. So this is our other teachers in our syndicate. We're going to share examples of workbooks with them. We're going to share successes and hopefully no failures, of the workbooks with them to get, try and get them on board with mm. our syndicate. For our late majority, this is, we feel that's uh, the school-wide, heading further out school-wide. Now, we're going to share examples with them of successful workbooks. We're going to give them templates of workbooks that they could use within their classes. Yep. And we're going to show them workbooks which are actually already being used on blogs and comments that children or hopefully parents are actually making on them. Mm. And our laggards, we're going to continue, of course, to promote our workbooks and try to get them involved. We hope to run tutorials for staff who are not so familiar with Google Slides. We will continue to share examples of successful workbooks with them. Mm. And we're going to apply a little bit of pressure for them to use them in their class programs. Yep. Uh, so the workbooks are an online learning book that includes knowledge and information about the math skills that the students are learning about at the time. It also includes independent tasks that the students complete during the week. So on a Monday, the students must make a copy of the workbook and embed this onto their blog. And from there, students and teachers can keep track of how well they're progressing and the parents can see and reinforce the learning at home. Students will then also have opportunities to view and comment on others' work and give feedback on their peers' learning. Mm -hmm. So why this initiative? We want to, of course, engage our parents and our whanau. We want them to actually see the children's work and be able to help them. Mm. We have seen this work, or something very similar, work effectively in other schools. And using our digital tools, of course, to enhance any learning opportunities that we have, it's an effective way to actually display our Learn, Create, Share model, which is, of course, we use for the Toki Punamu cluster. Mm -hmm. Uh, children can easily share their work with a wider audience that they can gain feedback from them and help them to learn even further. Mm -hmm. Information is accessible to them 24-7. When they want to go on and view it, they can go anytime they like. Yep. The learning is rewindable. They can look back on the information. They, you know, If they haven't quite got it the first time, they can go back and reread it and look at it again. And another one, it actually saves paper. We've got less photocopying to do. We don't have to print out sheets of work for them so it's actually and here are our references come on come on